There could be more delays for the South East new fleet of trains in the lead up to the Commonwealth Games in April. The Deputy Premier says she may only know in March how many next generation rolling stock trains will be in service. The concession comes after one of the new trains derailed during testing. An expensive train accident and a difficult clean up. The government today paying the political price. We will be ensuring that there is a full investigation. Last night, one of the new next generation rolling stock trains derailed at Walkaraka. The Deputy Premier says it wasn't a fault with the train. I am advised that it was the shunter that came off the tracks in the first instance and the new train followed. The $4.4 billion train fleet has proved a headache for Labor. The former LNP government ordered the fleet to be built by Canadian-based manufacturer Bombardier in India. On-track testing found issues with braking, air conditioning, sight lines for drivers and disability access. If Tim Nichols had decided not to offshore this project, to, to make sure that these jobs, these projects were uh, dedicated to Queensland companies and Queensland workers, um, probably this derailment might not have happened. What was a good project that was well on its way to delivering additional trains for South East Queensland has become a botched failure under Labor. Fifteen are being tested, two have been provisionally accepted, but none are in service yet. The Deputy Premier has previously said she was confident at least some of the new trains would be ready by the end of the year, but today she backed away from that guarantee. Jackie Trad says she may not know exactly how many new trains will be ready for the Commonwealth Games until March, just one month out from competition. To add to the pain, the opposition was celebrating an anniversary the government would rather forget. This is the one year anniversary of that failure when we had train services cancelled on that fateful Friday that saw under Anastasia Palaszczuk and Labor 100 uh, train services cancelled without warning to anyone. Being off the rails is not a welcome metaphor for the government so close to an election. Ashley Stevenson, ABC News, Brisbane.